Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go to my website, skyazrael.com, if you're interested in life coaching and mentoring. Also, on the website, if you want to check out a copy, a free copy of my book, I'm giving away chapter one. Chapter one to anybody who wants it, free copy. You can uh, download it, find a link on there, I send you a PDF. And uh, the rest of the book will be available soon to people who are going to be interested and really excited about offering this book. It took me a long time to write it. I'm really proud of the information in it. I think it's going to help and a lot of people, change a lot of people's lives. At least that's the intention. So let's just get into it today. It's bright and early. Daily discipline, mind, body, and soul. Let's talk about loss. How do you take a loss? Are you a, a sore loser? A lot of people are sore losers in life. I, I've been. Damn right I have. And I've held grudges. I'm good at holding grudges. A lot of times when we hold a grudge, it means we didn't really learn our lesson. We have this narrow, fixed point of view without seeing anything else. We're just stuck like a broken record on just this one point. Do you ever talk to somebody who has a grudge and you try to talk them out of it? Oh, it's impossible. They just stay stuck on this one point. It's like, God damn, man. Can't you get over that shit? They can't because they don't understand it. And they don't want to. I've talked to people before about this type of stuff, about trauma from their past and try to explain it to them. I wasn't there, but I, as a second, you know, a, a third party, outside party, I can understand it when you tell me what happened. I can understand it, you can't. And I've had people tell me almost word for word, they'll say, I don't want to understand it. I'll never understand it. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? It's like a spell, this evil spell. You have your little wand and you're a wizard and you just cast this evil spell on yourself. Why would you tell yourself this? You don't ever want to go. People think that their anger, holding on to bitterness, holding grudges, being angry for something for 25 years, that that's somehow survival. That makes me who I am. If I stop being angry, that'll happen again. I'll turn to a sucker. Wisdom isn't anger. If that was the case under your logic, the wisest people would be the angriest people because they get all their wisdom from anger. It's bullshit. Look at Gandalf. It's just a movie, but Gandalf wasn't an angry dude. He wasn't some old curmudgeon. <laughs> Half of you motherfuckers watching this are, though, over bullshit that happened in your past that you're not getting over, that you didn't fucking lose gracefully. You didn't lose like a winner. You lost like a sucker. Poor sport. You remember how it was in sports? I don't know if any of you guys played sports. I was a real jock when I was in high school and younger. I always played team sports throughout school. And there was always that ritual at the end of the game and it didn't feel very good sometimes, or especially when you lost, felt fine when you won, but it didn't feel good when you lost. And I've been on some losing teams. I was on a soccer team and we were the losers of the whole uh, league. <laughs> it was a county league. Everybody, all the kids were in the county uh, soccer league and we were one of the worst teams. There was two bad teams and we were the, one of the two worst in the league. They give you these little consolation trophies, a little tiny trophy for being the worst. What's the point of that shit? But we would spend a lot of games going to the center of the field, shaking hands. We got so used to being the losers. And you could see the, the confidence and the power and the, 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 the pushed out chests and the high chins of the winner. And they're like, yeah, good game, buddy. You know, and the losers are all just like, Ugh. <laughs> And you wonder, well, what kept you coming back? When you can lose gracefully, when you can lose honorably, when you can congratulate the winner, the loss doesn't sting as bad. And as little kids, we saw the fun in it. The, the winning, it's important, but it's not the only thing. It's not why we're here, is to have that experience of dominance over someone else. I won, you lost. Ha! I mean, that feels great. But 
you have to learn how to lose gracefully or else you'll just give up you don't if you don't process the information from that last relationship if you don't process it properly learn your lessons and understand what happened and in your head be able to have that kind of acknowledgement neither of us were perfect I had flaws maybe I contributed to the end of that relationship it's not always fun to think it's more fun to be like fuck that bitch it was all her I'm cool I'm a good guy I'm this really cool sweet guy I'm really loyal I'm really honest I'm really trusting I'm a great catch and her she was the one evil bitch how many of those you got I know guys who have a whole whole drawer full, they'll, they'll just keep pulling out relationships. Oh, remember this one. And they're innocent through their whole lives. We have to acknowledge our role, to acknowledge the loss, acknowledge that what was once so cherished is now broken. I was in a relationship where both of us thought that we were with our our soulmate. We were in one of this soulmate fantasy. We both started this way and we would talk about it in this very fantastic way like it was a movie. And two, three years into it we realized it was really just a regular relationship like anything else and it takes work and neither of us are perfect and if we want to stay together we're going to have to really struggle and fight to stay together. Not fight to break up but you know what it's like. Some people out there you fight to stay together. We just walked away from each other and it was really painful for me because I had a hard time giving up that fantasy of what it was supposed to be, of that soulmate relationship. And I couldn't just accept the loss. I couldn't accept that I contributed to blowing it, that I contributed to creating this fantasy larger than it was supposed to be, to putting someone on a pedestal, to idolizing someone, it's a sin. You don't idolize people. I contributed to a lot of that. When you lose, you have to understand what you did wrong. This is what the, after the game, when a coach goes over the, the, the video. Another way to get over a loss, because it's one thing just to acknowledge it. Okay, I lost. Yeah, I get it, I lost. You can go through your whole life and acknowledge all the losses and count them up. Oh, I got so many. But that's not necessarily always getting over it. That helps. There ha there's more steps after that, but you have to start there. One way to, or I should say the second way to get over things, because I want to talk about two ways to get over loss in this video. Two ways to handle loss. And the second way I can talk about very briefly is just simply having a celebration. This is why we have funerals. A funeral may not feel like a celebration, but it is. It's a celebration of that person's life. We're going to acknowledge that they existed, celebrate they existed, and their passing on will be easier with this celebration being, being ritualized. We understand when we go to a funeral, this person is no longer here. When you don't have a proper burial, when you don't have a proper celebration, you don't celebrate the loss with a party, with, a, with, with some kind of get-together, with some kind of ritual. If you don't do that, physically do it, you can be stuck in the past forever thinking that you still have a connection to someone when they're long gone. So, for example, you can choose to get over a relationship by moping around. You can choose to go over a relationship by just getting into another relationship. That's what a lot of people do. They just immediately get into another relationship. Last night it was Becky. Tonight it's Donna. <laughs> you know, or, or you could stop for a second. Acknowledge the loss like we talked about. Celebrate the loss. Have a fucking party. That that bitch Becky's gone. Fuck bitch Becky. Celebrate that shit. Call up all your homies. Have a party. And, and, and that'll really solidify the transition that that is over. I'm now getting on a new path. I'm moving forward without that person. 
and those days preceding that you wake up alone every day or go to bed alone, those can be tough when you're just getting out of a relationship. They don't sting so bad. You don't feel so lonely in that bed. You enjoy the bed by yourself and having all the covers. Outlook is everything. You know, this boils down to just getting past the emotional attachment we have to trauma. And if you don't acknowledge your losses, accept your losses, celebrate your losses properly, lose like a winner, then you'll be stuck fighting battles, fighting a war that's been long over. It's all food for thought. Thanks for watching.